Hello and welcome back. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, make sure to uh, check out this video right here. This is part one. So we are starting up part two. I made sure my ink drawing dried and then I used my kneaded eraser and I'm using Higgins waterproof brown ink. And now it's time to get some ink out in my paintbrush and add some water. And this way I can have different intensities of this brown ink. So this one has quite a bit of water. So this is like the first pass. I'm just treating this waterproof ink like I would with a watercolor painting. So I work light to dark because ink is transparent. I cannot necessarily layer a lighter color on top of a darker color. So I work light to dark. As you see, I am building up the layers, moving around in my little palette to darker and darker variations. So less water mixed in with the ink to build up some depth and um, the muscle tone of the horse. Sometimes drawing and painting is more about observing than actually drawing and painting. The least amount of marks you make with the most information is more important than overworking a piece. So now it's time to work on the little calf. I'm just doing the same process. You'll see I have a couple of different areas of ink. One has more water added and one has less water added so I can get different depths or values in my ink. So once again, treating it like a watercolor painting, working light to dark adding in my darks as needed, creating some shadow and some depth. Now it is time to use my black ink. Gonna get some out with my paintbrush. Gonna add some water to this area, make it a little lighter, and then start working. So now I'm really bringing out the shadows and the color of the tail along with the color of the mane. Part of this video, I'll be chatting about my process and the rest of the video, I'll give you some music to listen to. So enjoy. So a little bit about this horse more. This horse's color is called a bay. Bays are brown for their body. And they have a black mane and tail. And they have a dark or black legs. Time for a little calf and work on his little shadows. Help defining the muscle structure a little bit more. And then you can't forget the shadows. And shadows can really help ground, literally ground your subject. And shadows don't have to be perfect. A 
little bit too much ink, so I just use a corner of a paper towel to soak up some of the uh, dark colors. Once again, a little bit too much ink. There we go. And it's dry, so I use my kneaded eraser to get rid of some pencil lines. So thank you so much for coming along with me as I worked on finishing up this ink drawing that I did from a pencil sketch. And then I went through and added some brown and black waterproof ink and played around with using kind of like some watercolor techniques of working light to dark. I hope this little video has inspired you to get into your sketchbook and do something for you. Do something fun. Play around. So I'll see you in the next video.